seed. And now, at the end of 500 years of the practice of rational, quote-unquote, scientific culture, we're literally at the end of our rope. Uh, reason and uh, science and uh, the practice of unbridled capitalism have not delivered us into an angelic realm. Quite the contrary. They've delivered 3% of us into an angelic realm, completely overshadowed by guilt about what's happening to the other 97% of us who are eating it. Uh, it's not a pretty picture, modern civilization. Most people in the world today are quite miserable, actually. Uh, they have very little hope their religions, their traditional value systems are being eroded by uh, Dallas and Hawaii Five O, which are on the village television every night. Uh, uh, lifespans are being shortened by pesticides, chemicals, all kinds of things in the environment. And, uh, and there is very little political uh, light on the horizon. So I believe that it's reasonable looking at this situation to say that history failed and that the grand dream of Western civilization has in fact failed. And now we are attempting with basically a carved wooden oar to turn a battleship around. And it's a very frustrating undertaking. Uh, the momentum for catastrophe is enormous in this situation. Uh, now, what? But it's not a hundred percent certain that catastrophe is what we're headed for, because we are not a hundred percent unconscious. There are people struggling to figure out how to control population struggling to figure out how to balance the relationship between the masculine and the feminine, uh, struggling to bring uh, amelioration of hunger and disease to various parts of the world. So we're in essentially a tragic situation. A tragic situation is a catastrophe when you know it, you see. And... Uh, Part of the Western impulse has been to subjugate all other cultural styles to our own. And this has, has taken the form of actually swallowing and digesting Native American culture. Uh, the ethnicity of European culture has been replaced by the mega culture of Nouveau Europa, whatever that means. Uh, cultures are melted down in the belly of the Western scientific beast and then they become structural members in an ever-expanding edifice of Western scientism. However, the psychedelic experience as practiced by shamans in many, many parts of the world is uh, apparently a, a bite too large to swallow. Psychedelics arrived on the Western uh, agenda only about a hundred years ago when uh, German chemists uh, brought peyote to Berlin and extracted mescaline. And for the next 50 years, up until about 1945, 55 years make it, very little happened. Uh, uh, mescaline did not, though it was taken by Havelock Ellis and, and William James and F, uh, F. Weir Mitchell, and it did not spawn a craze. It did not influence large numbers of intellectuals uh, particularly. Then in the, in the 40s, LSD was discovered. In the 50s, DMT and psilocybin were discovered. And then in 1966, all these things were made illegal. 
there was no real opportunity for Western science to grapple with these things before they were decided to be too hot to handle, made not only uh, unavailable to people such as you and I, ordinary people, but taken off the agenda of scientific research. In the Middle Ages, the church forbade dissection of human bodies. And, and medical students would visit battlefields and the gallows at night and steal the bodies of, of victims of war and executed prisoners in order to learn human physiology. Where that spirit of scientific courage has gone, I don't know, but there's very little of it left. Now people feed at the trough of government grants and enormous corporate research budgets and the idea of actually pursuing truth or attempting to understand the phenomenon in an unbiased fashion divorced from its commercial, social and political uh, dimensions is unheard of. If you look at thousands of these experiences is they dissolve boundaries. They dissolve boundaries between you and your past, you and the part of your unconscious you don't want to look at, between you and your partner, between you and the feminine if you're masculine and vice versa, between you and the world. All the boundaries that we put up to keep ourselves from feeling our circumstance are dissolved and and boundary dissolution is the most threatening uh, activity that can go on in a society people get very people meaning government institutions become very nervous when people begin to talk to each other yes the whole name of the western game is to create boundaries and maintain them the church and the state, the poor and the wealthy, the black and the white, the male and the female, the young and the old, the gay and the straight, the living and the dead, the foreign and the familiar. All of these categorical uh, divisions allow a kind of thinking that is completely cockamamie. After all, reality is, in fact, a seamless, unspeakable something. And we understand that to perceive it separately is a necessary um, adjunct to the act of understanding. But it is not the end of the program of understanding. The particulate uh, data has to be recombined in a, a paradigm, a seamless overview of what is happening. And uh, the drugs that Western society has traditionally favored have either been drugs which maintain boundaries or uh, drugs which promote mindless, repetitious physical activity on the assembly line, in the slave galley, uh, on the uh, latifundia, the slave-driven agricultural project, whatever it is in the corporate office. This is why, uh, you know, every labor contract on this planet, at least in Western civilization, contains a provision uh, that all workers shall be allowed to use drugs twice a day at designated times. But the drug shall be caffeine. Now, the reason caffeine is so welcome in the workplace is because it the last three hours of the work day are utterly unproductive unless you goose everybody with two cups of coffee and then they can go back to the word processor, the widget tightening machine or whatever they're doing and mindlessly and happily uh, uh, carry on. If it were suggested that there be a pot break twice <laughs> a day, you know, you would think that civilization was striking the iceberg or something. Uh, so, and alcohol, like our, our society has, is an alcohol, red meat, sugar, and tobacco culture. 
and all of these are forms of uh, of speed basically in the way that we use them i mean yes you can